Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I am so blessed to be able to have this time to share with you in the Word of God and just trusting that you are growing in your walk with Him as we go verse by verse and line by line and precept upon precept through the Word of God together. I'm just praying that God is opening your mind to what He has to say to you. He does use teachers, uh, people that are teachers, but He ultimately is our true teacher. The Holy Spirit of God guides us in his word, and so that's why we always like to go to God in prayer as we begin our study together. Let's go ahead and pray now. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks again today for another opportunity to study your word. We're just so blessed to have it before us. We know that it, you are our creator. You're our God. You're the one that gives us life, sustains our lives. Lord, you know the number of our days, and we just want to spend that time in study and worship of you. I pray you just bless us today with your presence and all, as always, asking that you by your Holy Spirit would guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to that truth so that our lives will be pleasing to you. We just bless you and we thank you for these things today. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is Miracles Performed and Still Unbelief. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 12, and verse 37. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus said, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walks in darkness knows not where he goes. While you have light, believe in the light, that you may be the children of the light. These things spoke Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. And in chapter 12 and verse 37 of his book, John shared, Though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Where we read, But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. The verse reads, But though he had done so many miracles before them. John began with the words, But though he had done, which means, However, nonetheless, notwithstanding, and moreover, even though Jesus performed, produced, and made ready, so many miracles, or such a great quantity of wonders, signs, and supernatural workings before them, which means in front and in the sight of the people, they had the following reaction. John shared how Jesus performed a great number or quantity of supernatural works. However, some people had the following response to him. The verse goes on to say, yet they believed not on him. John continued with the words, Yet they believed not, which means still the people were not persuaded, did not trust in, rely upon, cling to, or have confidence on him or in Jesus. John shared how Jesus' miracles still did not produce confidence in him from some of the people. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how people did not believe in Jesus, even though he performed many super one, supernatural spiritual work, wonders and miracles before them. Some people just will not believe. And even when they observe the miracles, hear the words, and examine the evidence concerning God's Son, Jesus, they have no confidence that he is God's Messiah. God loves people, and his desire is to have a personal relationship with every person through his Son, Jesus. This relationship begins when people put their faith and trust in Jesus. The evidence was before these people, and still they did not believe. How will everyone who reads and hears these words respond to Jesus, who is God's Son and the Savior and Lord of the world? Next time, John shares how this fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy, Who has believed our report? So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.